I am Shivam, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today, I am going to show you how to move an Amazon Redshift cluster into a different subnet. Let's get started. When a new Amazon Redshift cluster is launched, an Amazon Virtual Private Cloud security group and cluster subnet group are provided. During the launch, Amazon Redshift picks up random subnets from the associated cluster subnet group. To move your existing Amazon Redshift cluster into a different subnet, you must restore your cluster from snapshot. Additionally, be sure that there is only one subnet in the subnet group. Otherwise, Amazon Redshift might not launch the cluster in that specific subnet. Before proceeding with snapshot restore approach, confirm which subnet and subnet group the Amazon Redshift cluster is using by following these steps. Open the Amazon Redshift console. Choose the Clusters tab. Select your Amazon Redshift cluster. Choose the Properties tab. Choose the Network and Security to view network details. The Network and Security information displays the subnet group in use. Here you can see that my cluster is launched within subnet group cluster-subnet-group-1 and the availability zone is us-east-1t. To check further details regarding the subnet group, choose the subnet group link cluster-subnet-group in my case. You can see that I have one subnet in my cluster subnet group where the cluster is launched. However, you can have multiple subnets in your cluster subnet group and the Amazon Redshift cluster is launched in any of the subnet. In case you have multiple subnets, you can check the mapping of your availability zone where your cluster is launched with the subnet to know the subnet where your cluster resides. Now we have the confirmation in which subnet our cluster resides. Let's move the cluster by restoring it to another subnet. Before we can restore the cluster, we must create new subnet group with our desired subnet. Then we will create a manual snapshot of the cluster that we will use to move or restore to the new subnet. First, let's create new cluster subnet group. Choose config tab, subnet groups, choose create cluster subnet group. You can give any name, for example, cluster-subnet-group-2. You want to, to the new cluster subnet group. I will add the same name to the description. You can give any description that you like. I will choose the desired VPC, availability zone, and the subnet, and then choose the add subnet button. Choose create cluster subnet group. Now you can see that it's created. Now let's take a manual snapshot of the cluster. Choose the clusters tab, choose snapshots, choose create snapshot. Choose the cluster identifier. In my case, let's should have fun cluster hyphen one. You can choose the snapshot identifier and snapshot retention. In my case, I'm setting it to default. Choose create snapshot. Now you can see that the snapshot is created. Let's perform the final steps to restore the cluster to another subnet. Select the manual snapshot that was previously created. Choose restore from snapshot. Add the cluster name. In my case, it is redshift-cluster-3. Choose the node type, nodes, database configuration, and you can attach any required AWS identity and access management role. Under additional configurations, disable the use default settings. Choose network and security. Select the desired VPC, security group, and subnet group, and the remaining options. Choose Restore Cluster from Snapshot. Now the new Amazon Redshift cluster is in creation phase and in the subnet group that we choose earlier. Please note that if you want to have new cluster with same endpoint as the previous cluster, rename the previous cluster to different name then restore the new cluster with same endpoint. Adding further, 
endpoint name per account per region remains the same in Amazon Redshift. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.